Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin and today I'm going to be doing a three month update of my Anthurium Crystal Hope. So for those that didn't watch my unboxing of this plant, I did an unboxing three months ago and this was the time I was really new to Anthuriums. But now I've learned that in my environment at least, they are pretty easy actually. So I'm like, ugh, she is right in front of me. She is gorgeous. Like, wow, I am so impressed with the growth of this plant and like, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so before I show it to you, I'll show you some, I guess, screenshots slash photos just to the side here. So this plant originally had three or four leaves. Um, there was one leaf that had a bacterial issue. So I just chopped it off because I was so worried. And I think it was because it was sitting too close to my humidifier. So I moved it away. <laughs> I think I was just paranoid because anthuriums were new to me and people always say that they need high, high, high humidity. But anyhow, for me as a general rule, when I get a new plant and I transition it to LECA and passive hydroponics, I usually chop off a couple leaves just so there can be a nutrient focus on one or two leaves. And I know that's something very controversial, but it works for me, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Since then, it pushed out a couple leaves and um ugh, i guess i'll show it to you guys so this is the anthurium crystal hope it looks so good on camera oh my gosh can we for one second look at her and i don't know if y'all could see the sparkle but she is so sparkly also this leaf is almost it might be the same size but it's almost the size of my head this is crazy and it's funny because i think in the unboxing video i was saying that these stay small but i mean clearly not like look at i mean maybe this is the biggest i'll ever get i assumed that um the leaves would only stay about this size and i kind of thought it was going to be as small as an anthurium doriaki those plants are cute also on my wish list but uh oh look at this leaf guys look at her it's insane i can't you are so pretty so originally i had her next to my humidifier i later learned that there wasn't enough airflow in that particular area so um that's why i think the leaf had that bacterial issue then i moved it away which worked out because then i moved it to a place with more bright and direct light. And since she's living in LECA and passive hydroponics, I have always used the three-part flora series from General Hydroponics, and I've never had issues. I also use a calcium magnesium supplement and um, one of their products called Diamond Nectar. Diamond Nectar claims to um, aid in the absorption of nutrients in the root system. And also I've noticed that it monitors, it doesn't monitor, I've noticed that it regulates um, the pH of my nutrient solution. And therefore I think maybe that's why it aids in nutrient absorption. I never even thought of that. But anyways, that's what I've noticed. And I mean, it shows like, look at this gorgeous leaf here. Oh my God. Uh, Okay, so I guess I'll end it here. I will also be doing an update on my Alocasia Golden Bone. That is another plant that is just doing so well. And if you haven't checked out that unboxing, please check it out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.